With 26 and a half million Americans having filed for unemployment over the last five weeks, those are seemingly daunting odds for college seniors trying to find full-time work. But today, we were able to speak with a soon-to-be Quinnipiac University graduate about how she found success. The system works simply by tapping a cue card on this scanner, allowing the arm to raise so a car could go through. That's Quinnipiac senior Brooke Riley, who in early March had no job prospects, but was recently hired as a television reporter in Bangor, Maine. I would say to utilize the alumni network at your school too. I think that's really important. That helped me a lot too, because there are a couple of Quinnipiac alumni up in Maine right now. And career development administrators at colleges and universities say these students actually have an advantage in that they're already comfortable on social media platforms like FaceTime, Zoom, and Skype. I've had a student in industrial engineering whose entire interview process has taken place over the past three weeks and received an offer. And Brooke Riley says college students should be utilizing LinkedIn to make career connections. I managed to message an executive producer at one of my internships that I had back in 2018 and she put me in contact with the person who would eventually become my boss. And John Bow reminds students that Connecticut has a number of employers, both large and small, in essential industries such as healthcare and defense. And job seekers should be sure to take a look at these sorts of employers given current times. Folks who have contacts out in the world who can help you prepare for interviews, who might be able to make introductions on your behalf, this is really the time to lean on those resources. Brooke Riley says even though she has work, she's still trying to process everything that's happening now. I'm actually starting my job before when I would have graduated. She makes her debut on Bangor's Fox ABC affiliate in a couple of weeks. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News. Happening right now, the